Hello, today we're going to be assembling the pinwheels for the Pinwheel for a Pale campaign. Here is a sample setup that you can include for your display. And they come with a little picture explaining the campaign. When you receive your pinwheel, they come in a clear plastic bag. You'll need to open up the bag and inside it you'll find a stick, the pinwheel itself, as well as what we're going to call the pin, the T, and the spacer. Please separate these items and put the pin, the T away, the spacer, right here, and your pin. Well, we're going to hold on to the pin. If you notice, on the back of the pinwheel, we have a little message, pinwheels for, hashtag pinwheels for pale. This is the hashtag that we're asking everybody to use when they share pictures of where they where they plant or where they use their pinwheels in memory of their baby. Also, to get more information is www.palenetwork.ca. The other side of the pinwheel is, has some white triangles or the blue. Families are welcome or encouraged to write messages of hope and support on these petals. This can be done before assembly or following assembly with a fine Sharpie marker. Now, to get started, you'll notice in each corner of each petal is a hole. I like to start by putting the pinwheel, the pin, in the reverse of the hole. What we need to do is we need to fold each one of these petals into the center with the hole piece. So going in a rotation, thread it into the center and thread it through the pin. Into the center, into the pin. The final one, fold it over again, into the center, into the hole. At this point, the pinwheel has taken shape. The final thing item to do is to thread the pinwheel, thread the pin through the back hole. And there you have your pinwheel. Now you can grab your spacer, put these all on, and your T-bar. This will hold it all together. Just gently push them together and you have your pinwheel. Finally, the stick gets inserted into the hole here. Thank you.